very kindly uh, a YouTube viewer suggested that I missed uh, a, a calling. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it was very kindly said and it was very kindly accepted. It, it, it was a well meant comment and uh, I thank you for it. Um, what I thought I would share with you today is a monologue. In the 1930s, 1950s and 60s there were various stage performers who would speak to audience and they'd do hand gestures and they, they would bring a theatrical content into it. One of them, one of the more famous British English ones is a man called Stanley Holloway and this monologue is about Sam Small. Now, bear with me just a moment. Very important English ritual, extracting the tea bag. All right, onwards and upwards. It occurred on the evening before Waterloo and troops were lined up on parade. The sergeant inspecting them, he was a terror of whom every man was afraid. All excepting one man who was in the front rank, a man by the name of Sam Small, and him and the sergeant were both daggers drawn. They thought nought of each other at all. As sergeant walked past he was swinging his arms and he happened to brush against Sam and knocking the musket clean out of his hand it fell to the ground with a slam. Pick it up, said sergeant, abrupt like but cool. But Sam with a shake of his head Seeing as thou knocked it out of me hand, perhaps thou'll pick the thing up instead. Sam, Sam, pick up thy musket, the sergeant exclaimed with a roar. Sam said thou knocked it down, Rick, then thou'll pick it up, or it'll stay where it is on the floor. The sound of high words very soon reached the ears of an officer. Lieutenant Bird, who says to the sergeant, Now what's all this here? And the sergeant told what had occurred. Sam, Sam, pick up thy musket, Lieutenant exclaimed with some heat. Sam said, He knocked it down, Rick, then he'll pick it up, or it stays where it is, at me feet. It caused quite a stir when the captain arrived to find out the cause of the trouble and every man there, all except Sam, was full of excitement and bubble. Sam, Sam, pick up thy musket, said captain for strictness renowned. Sam said he knocked it doon, reet so he'll pick it up, or it stays where it is on the ground. The same thing occurred when the Major and Colonel both tried to get Sam to see sense. But when old Duke of Wellington came into view, well the excitement was really quite tense. Up rode the Duke on a lovely white horse to find out the cause of the bother. He looked at the musket and then at old Sam. And he talked to old Sam like a brother. Sam, Sam. Pick up thy musket, the Duke said as quiet as could be. Sam, Sam, pick up thy musket, come on lad, just to please me. All right, Duke, said old Sam, just for thee I'll oblige. And to show thee I meant no offence, so Sam picked it up. Gradely, lad, said the Duke, right-o, boys, let battle commence. 